Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. I hope you're having a great day, guys. I appreciate you guys as always uh, for tuning in to watch the video. And uh, as always, guys, you do know that there are a lot of updates going on uh, with the Nigerian Zubai Goose NFF, our players. And of course, uh, NFF, you know, like uh, we talked about in previous video, have already started uh, scrutinizing the list of names that it has received for the head coach of Nigerian Spigos and of course the Golden Eaglet. Uh, but it's a very, very uh, feisty, very, very uh, exciting experience. Who we'll hopefully know what their verdict you know is in the next couple of days. But guys, the main update for this video is the fact that Osime uh, has now been bullied, likely bullied, maltreated, uh, mauled throwed blasted whatever you want to call it that's what he's now received now from napoli uh not napoli itself but an italian media in fact not only one italian media say right italian medias they've now uh you know been singling out to see me as a scapegoat for that uh, their midweek loss against barcelona in the uefa champions league and i mean what this media what they are saying is really very harsh. I mean, I read a lot of uh, the publication and it's not something that I took lightly, especially uh, knowing the fact that Osime is someone that gives 100%. He gives 101%, to be honest. You know, if you want to count the players on the pitch that give 100%, you have to count Osime because you see the, the what he gives in the way that he plays. He uses all his strength and all of that. But these people don't appreciate to see me. Just to show you a few, uh, uh, you know, publications from this media. I think the worst uh, is coming from uh, an Italian media called uh, Martino. Uh, what they actually published about Sima is not nice. And uh, they labeled him overpaid and pampered. Uh, and what they are saying is that uh, Osime is not, you know, giving his best. He's not even trying at all, you know, for Napoli even though Napoli has, you know, done everything for him, changed his life, uh, brought him from, from, from scratch, and then changed his life, overpay him, and, and of course, show him love on and off the pitch, uh, give him countless uh, holidays to go and enjoy himself, to spend time with family, that he has not replicated that love that Napoli has shown him. That's what this media, uh, Mart uh, Martino, you know, have said about the same, and it's completely false, you know, in my opinion. Because if you watch, watch that game, you would see the passion that Osime brought into the game. He was completely active in that game. The only thing that I would say didn't happen for him was that he didn't have a goal, he didn't have a, a clear cut chance to, to get the goals. He had just one shot, uh, you know, that he had, and then. Okay, you could say he was caught offside several times. I think in the first half, he was caught offside about six times or thereabouts, of course. But when you want to blame a striker for being in offside position, you have to also consider the fact that the passer of the ball could also be the one that made the delay before the striker made the move. So it could go both ways. Usime had a terrible, he had a bad day, sure, just like the rest of Napoli players. But you can't go on and start single, single, singling out one person and you know start printing rubbish about the person so this is what's going on it's not just uh this martino media there are lots of them you know i'm, I'm just definitely going to be attaching them to the screen lots of you know this media saying all sort of garbage about osime and this is the sign that it's you know finally broken the trust the the, the law of the whatever they you know they claim that they have it's completely broken Osime has to move on, you know, look for a better place. Imagine even uh, Fabio Capello, you know, the veteran coach also uh, blamed Osime for uh, that loss against Barcelona in the midweek. You know, by counting the offside, he was just too wasteful, staying at, being caught in offside almost six times within the first 30, min 30 minutes of the game. Uh, but of course, the only support that he had was from the Piero. Uh, the Italian legend, who the uh, the uh, Juventus legend, he was the only one that actually, you know, acknowledged the fact that Osime showed uh, some passion in that game. Yes, he 
had a bad day just like everybody but the way that he played you could see the way that he played he had passion just that it was a bad day of, at the office for them it was only the pure role that was considerate you know that was reasonable enough to see what Simeon did but i'll leave that one guys and you know hear your reactions in the comments um but of course you are not we are not surprised anytime napoli has a bad day Simeon is definitely going to be the one to be singled out uh, but it's completely terrible you know not just the fact that he's a nigerian just like me but also for the fact that i know that this man is genuinely a hard worker he works hard every day he puts in the time every day only to get this criticism from napoli he has to move on guys so leaving that this guys let me let you know that that Amboso and his boys the under under 20 boys are going to play their last uh, group game today in the ongoing all african games in ghana remember this match is very important it's against senegal 9 p.m they have to win this match because they've not really uh, done very well for the last two games the last one against uh the first game actually against uganda they you know flopped that one lost against uganda then the second game uh, they actually won that one one zero i think by a penalty and then uh, uh it was against south sudan and then uh, this one against senegal they definitely have to win this match if they are going to qualify you know to uh, the semi-finals of the all african games and of course that Amboso, you know as we talked about he hasn't really been you know influential or uh, impressive with these guys they've not really been playing well the attackers are you know lost in themselves they don't even know how to strike the ball the goalkeeper is confused every time leaving his mark running around in the in the six yard boss we were very lucky in the last game we should have considered a lot of goals because of goalkeeping errors but we ended up winning that game even though the referee sided us if you saw that game you would know that you know referee helped us in a way but this is a game that they need to win to qualify and uh the uh the chairman of nff uh ibrahim guso obviously made a statement about that one you know which is the same thing that we are also talking that Ladamboso has to step up his game he's not really impressing with the boys in the way that we want them to play i'm sure that definitely you know a word from the nff boss himself is going to uh get these guys to you know step up get Ladamboso to step up and do what he needs to do as a coach and get these boys to start firing but even that update guys let me let you know uh, the one that concerns uh tosin and Tosin, our man, of course, uh, if you know him very well, if you do follow our channel, you know that uh, he is, you know, a prospective, someone that we obviously, you know, have been looking out for him to come and say, okay, you know, he's ready to play for Nigeria Super Eagles. We have the likes of Gab uh, uh, Osho, you know, of Luton Town, actually getting his first call up. I mean, it's something very nice. But Tosin has just been there waiting for England call up. But well, that's not the issue right now. The issue is that full is is a contract with Fulham is going to expire this June, and uh, Fulham are looking to tie him down on a you know on, on a long uh, long term deal. He is not in a hurry to sign a, uh, a long term deal with Fulham. He is in fact considering uh, seeing out his contract in June and go as a free agent because he has a lot of uh, interest from club side that are willing to you know double his uh his wages you know uh the one that Fulham is offering him but we'll see how that one pans out we hope that yep. Tosin considers uh you know very quickly that he needs to uh, reach out to NFF and come play for us because he's not getting any uh, younger he's 26 year old and of course he's not anywhere he's nowhere near being called by England national team but leaving that is let me let you know that Lukman Adimola was incomplete uh form uh over over their uh, game yesterday over their uh, ufa europa league yesterday and of course uh, they had uh, they actually came from behind to win that one to qualify for uh the knockout stages of the uh europa league uh actually edging out uh spotting cp by two goes to one lukman also getting a goal for that one uh and also being very influential in that game uh, but it's going to be really tough, you know, their next game because the draw has been made, of course, and their next match is going to be Liverpool. So it's definitely going to be a match that uh, is going to draw out or require a lot of their energy. But, you know, we know Lukman is a top performer. He obviously 
knows how to play a club like Liverpool when he was uh, in the EPL, you know, uh, I think with Everton uh, or thereabouts, you know, he's, we saw what he did uh, scoring a very fantastic goal against Liverpool, beating Virgil van Dijk and the rest. So he's definitely capable of doing that as well for Atlanta versus Liverpool in the uh, U, uh, in the Europa, Europa League. But guys, uh, let me end with the update about Pocero. Pocero is actually talking right now. I know his case has been closed in terms of whether he's going to come back and take over the Spigo's job. That's an abrupt end. But Pocero, you know, is actually answering question from uh, uh, reporters. And what he said now is really put an abrupt end. We know that it's already, you know, ended his relationship with Nigerian Spigo's. But of course, he had to put it an abrupt end to that question because he seems to be getting it every time, you know, a reporter, a reporter asks uh, or interviews him. Uh, so, but what I said is that the relationship, you know, uh, it has ended. Uh, he was lucky to play with such a talented group. And of course, with he and his uh, management team, they obviously did well, you know, getting to the final. But that it's all over between him and, and NFF and Andrew Spike, who's that he's looking forward to moving on to new project in the future that's the update guys uh let me know your reaction for any of these stories that if you connected to thank you for watching as always god bless you